Okay, we're having a Why Do Fools Fall In Love block party, because when you have a block party like the one we're having outside celebrating Why Do Fools Fall In Love, you have to have a barbecue. You just have to have a barbecue. That's why Vivica was saying, y'all go to the movie, then you can have your own barbecue. Uh, my chef, Art Smith, is back to share some of his fabulous recipes with us. Um, he's just one of the best cooks I've ever seen in the world, which we tell you that every day. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so what are you making for us today? Well, Miss Winfrey, you remember uh, we we were one time playing with this. He soup. He calls me Miss Winfrey. <laughs> you and you and Andre were uh -huh. working on this soup thing, and we just kind of all Andre and you, and we came up with this grilled tomato soup. Yeah. Remember, and it mm -hmm. kind of evolved. I like this because we grow tomatoes. I have a farm in Indiana, and one thing we can grow is tomatoes. I bet a bunch of y'all are growing tomatoes too. You can grow, you can grow tomatoes when you can't grow them, grow anything right. else anywhere. So you have a lot of tomatoes, right? And I love soups, and so we came up with the idea of a grilled um, tomato and bell pepper soup. Yes. Because we exactly. can grow a lot of bell peppers right. too. And then what do you do with them? I'm like outside the gate, people coming by, want some tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's great about this soup is that you can make it and you can freeze it. And it's wonderful as you do. Wonderful in the wintertime too. Wonderful all the time. Okay. We do it because you should make it now and then freeze it later because tomatoes are only good at a certain point in the year. Grilled, you but you gotta grill them. Gotta Otherwise grill you don't get the flavor. You don't get the flavor. Okay, okay what we did, Miss Winfrey, is we've got three pounds of tomatoes. And these can be, we have some wonderful yellow tomatoes. We have plum tomatoes. We have other kinds of just different types of tomatoes. We had red peppers that you just cut them in half. We grill them. If you want to really cut down the fat, just spray it with a little pan and put them on the hot grill. And then what we also do is we, you can sprinkle them with little herbs. Now, the next thing, Miss Winfrey, we do is we just put the vegetables. Don't call me Miss Winfrey on TV. Okay. 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 Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> well, and, the, and another one of the things, too, is we wanted to make sure we had all of Miss Winfrey's favorite. And it was, so we have, we have, she loves olives. So I wanted to make sure we had all these things. Uh -huh. So, well, anyway, we want to add just a little chicken stock. Now, chicken stock. Now, we have. Three pounds. So you have what in there? We had, well, we're going to do it in batches, but it will be three pounds of tomatoes cut in half, two Vidalia onions. Vidalia, sweet, wonderful onions from Georgia. We're only wonderful. Yeah. We know Vidalia. We know Vidalia. Okay. okay. And then we got a head of garlic, which we roasted. You know, you wrap it in foil and roast it in the oven. It makes it nice and sweet. You want to add that to it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add two quarts of chicken stock. Gotcha. Now, this is going to make a big recipe. This is going to make like 15 servings. And, you 15. Know, well, so we got 300 people. Yeah. So you have to keep making it. So all right. you do is just add your chicken stock. There is no butter. There's no cream. Any in the soup, it's perfectly natural. It and makes fresh. its own cream. It's right. fantastic. And then you just add some fresh herbs. And what we've done is we've got a half teaspoon of chives, basil, fresh oregano. And that's it. And you just put it in the Cuisinart. Uh huh. Pulse it. I like mine a little chunky, you know. You that this is true. Yeah, it's true. So we make it nice and chunky. Yeah. Well, you know, to make that. And then you don't have to cook it anymore. Nope. Because if you cook it more, then you lose all the vitamins. You want it as fresh as possible. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.